guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity and I'm here today in Silhouette Studio and I wanted to share a tutorial with you on how I created this stacked text or echo text effect in Silhouette Studio. I guess I'm not sure exactly what you call this. There's different versions of it. I was working on one over here and I haven't quite perfected that technique yet, but I wanted to um, share with you how I did this one here in Silhouette Studio. So the neat thing about this is that all of these are just like a single layer, and when they overlap, if you were to cut these out of vinyl, you wouldn't have any vinyl on top of other vinyl. And so that's one advantage to these. I think they look kind of cool this way. This hello here, I did like a conical warp tool. I have Silhouette Business Edition and that's an option for me. And so it kind of gave that kind of funneled up effect. And so I was just playing around with that to see what it would look like but both of these are actually the same font. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to try to duplicate this good morning that I did up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a new panel. I'm not going to worry about my page setup right now, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type out good morning. And I'm going to change that to a font that I have called Angel's Cookie. And let's go to the text style panel and I'm going to just bump up my character spacing to 110. And let's make this white with a black outline. And now I'm going to hold down my Alt key. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. And let's convert it to path. And now I'm going to just Hold down my Alt key and I'm going to drag down and clone a copy. And we'll do that three times so that we have four good mornings all stacked up on top of one another. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to align these in the center and I'm going to space them vertically. And there wasn't a lot of change there, but they'll be evenly spaced. Now I can go ahead and I'm going to change the fill color on each of these. Let's change the top one to red. And then we'll go purple. and blue and orange and that works for now. You can always change the colors of them when you do your own design. And let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. Now I want to subtract each of these from the layer below it. So I'm going to start with the purple and I'm going to create an offset. And let's offset that by clicking the offset, but we're going to change the distance to 0 0.04. And now I'm going to change that offset to green. And this just helps me to see that better. And when I'm going up here to my selection tool, select by color, I'm going to go to the select by fill. 
and I'm going to select the green and I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the red and you can see that it outlines both the red and the green objects and I'm going to open up my modify panel and I'm going to click subtract. Now you can see that it subtracted that offset from the red lettering. So I'm going to zoom in here so we can see this better. But what I want to do is go in here and grab these little bits that are down into the purple. And now I'm going to go back to my Select by Fill. I'm going to take the red and I'm going to make a compound path. And so now we're done with the red. So now we're going to go down here to the blue and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create that offset. We're going to change that distance to 0 0.04. We'll click apply. We'll change it to green. And while that's still selected, I'm going to go up here to my by fill, select by color tool, and I'm going to select purple in addition to the green. So you can hold down your shift key. I have both of those selected. I'm going to open my modify panel and I'm going to click subtract. And you could also go up here to object, modify, subtract. Both of those work. And now I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to delete those little pieces again. And now I'm done with the purple. I'm going to make that into a compound path. And now I'm ready to move on to my blue. So I'm going to select my orange. I'm going to offset. I'm going to make that 0 0.04 again. I'm going to change it to green. And I'm going to go back up here to my Select by Fill Color tool. I'm going to select green. It was already selected. And I'm going to hold down my Shift key, select blue. And I'm going to open my Modify panel again and click Subtract. And you can see that it's subtracted. And of course we'll delete And now I'm going to go to my Select by Color tool and we're going to make this a compound path. We're going to make our orange a compound path. And we're all finished with our design. We can zoom out here. And of course, because each of these are on their own um, compound path, you can see if you click into them, you, they're point editable. But we don't need to do that. But we can change the color of each of them. Maybe I'd want to go blue. Lighter blue. lighter, lighter blue, and bright yellow or something. Let's go ahead and mouse over all of that and we can remove our line color. That's really all there is to it. 
That's how I created that design in Silhouette Studio. I think this technique has a lot of fun possibilities. There's a lot of words that you could use that would be great for shirts or tote bags or other projects. If this video was helpful to you, I hope that you'll share this with your Silhouette friends. I hope that if you enjoy the content on this channel and that you learn from it that you will subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so that you get notified when I post a new video. I appreciate all the followers who have subscribed to my channel and helped my channel to grow during the past year. I hope we'll continue to grow and learn together as we use our cutting machines to create for our home and family. And with that, we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.